Right. The next port of call is removing the tuning gang. Now, that all seems to be one unit on this. So I'm thinking if we release this wire here, this is the actual antenna wire, which is actually a shielded cable. It goes over here and runs out to this fella here. So that's our antenna and earth, or aerial, and earth, aerial as in old school. This wire here comes from one of the coils. I haven't got the circuit in front of me at the moment, so we're just having a look at this. The tuning gang, the oscillator, and the aerial cables from the tuning gang go over here and um, to the valve underneath here. So I'm thinking there's some grommets here that have got to be replaced. Here's the top. We have a, a nut there holding him and actually a nut there. So really, that's about all there is on top. I would like to clean this fella up a bit. There's a little bit of corrosion and so forth. Put him in some solution and get rid of the little bits of corrosion. This looks quite good, as you can see. Yeah, we're going to start on the rest of it very shortly, but it would make it easier if I remove that assembly and we can check the switch, do everything with the, uh, the band chain switch, check him, make sure everything's okay. And there's a, there's a capacitor here, there's a, a waxy in there. There's a couple of waxies here. And here, of course. So I might, while this is out, make it a lot easier to replace, check resistors, everything. So this is the next port of call. So we'll skip over this and see how we go. Right. This fellow down here on on the um, valve socket's a little bit difficult to get to. The two tuning gangs, the grid to the 6A and 7. And now this fella, he goes obviously to a, um, a 1M5, but I'm going to take him off up this end, not the valve end. Makes it a bit easier. Now for the tricky one, which is the aerial cable. The poor paper caps are all falling apart. And I, I don't want to lose too much of the information of them before I dig them out. Okay, I think now we'll get a screwdriver on these two and see if we can get them out. They're not going to come out that easy. I'll put a dab of um, acetone on, on these to... Uh, try and get him a little bit and loosen up the paint. Acetone normally works fairly well to loosen the nut on the thread. I'll see how that goes. Polish him up a bit before he goes back in. Now, try this one. This is the start of a pretty big part of the project on this chassis. Don't know whether I'm looking forward to this or not. Have we got anything else holding this monster in here? Yes, there is one at the back. There is one there. Oh, dear. How do we get at that? We're going to yeah, pause the video on this one and until I get a little bit of access. I've just got to find out what that capacitor is there before it demolishes totally on me. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Well, that was a bit of a trick with this one. Had to actually cut underneath the nut uh, on that back screw there to get him out of this assembly. 
real handy. It's the hardest one to get to, of course. And this should come out as a whole assembly. Here we are. That makes things a lot easier to work on. So I can do some cleaning up here. There's a waxy in there that we've got to replace. There's one here. Uh, seems to be only the two caps in there. So, yes, makes, makes the whole job a lot easier. This looks like it needs grommets, I would say. They're, they're pretty hard. Underneath makes the job a lot easier with these caps here uh, and, and the resistors here to, to get at. So we'll update all this, put new grommets in him. These also have little spaces in them. This back one is the one I cut off. We'll get onto this fella. There's a spacer in still in there, and it's yeah, it's solid. So we've got to clean up the the dried rubber. All right, we'll go from here. Okay, guys. Well, I think it's came to crunch time. I've got the tuner assembly removed, the um, the gang and the coils, everything is removed from here underneath. We're still looking pretty well the same, but I think now with this surface rust, the overall rust situation, what I'm going to do is remove the three IFs. Um, these shouldn't be too hard. It's only, you've only got the four wires there and they're all very easy to get to. So I think I'll do that. That will get them out of the road and I'm going to drop the rivets out of the valve shield uh, lower assembly there. I think I'll take them out, drop the valve sockets down a little bit Put a little bit of metal underneath there and I'm pretty sure what we'll have to do here is sandblast. I'll be sandblasting it with uh, glass bead so it won't be too dramatic but uh, I think this will have to be repainted. I don't like resurrecting these radios like this but this one is just in a really bad state so I think the chassis will have to be redone. There's also um, some rust in around here. I'll use rust converter in, in around there and try and do the best we can there and dab something on it to uh, stop any further rust. So that's, uh, that's about where we're up to. The caps, I'll just leave them for the moment. I'm not going to do them. I'd rather get the chassis in a little bit better state than what it's in. Tuning assembly, all come up, nice and clean, and caps replaced. So that's that's not a problem. This is the problem. Okay, we're going to start drawing things out here and attacking it. There's I can't see any other way around this. So um, yeah, we'll. Um, take some pictures along the way and um, share them on the next video. Hopefully everything goes okay. I'll um, share short clips of videos of what we're doing here. Righto, we'll catch you guys very soon.